Yo, 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 yo. It is just in your guide into the other side. We just got a, oh man, a, what do I even call this? We just got an announcement from Eagle Labs Gaming. It's time to grow up. Kodamar Fusion is coming this Thursday. Uh, yeah, Thursday, <laughs> 4 18, 2024. And we're going to jump into the, uh, the FAQ as well as kind of look through the first section of the new page that we got. So I'm just going to alt tab over to it. You guys might be, no uh, you guys might notice that I am using, um, arc browser, but <laughs> I don't want to talk about arc browser. I'll make a different video for that, but I have the FAQ, uh, behind my head here. And then I also have the new page here for evolving your Mara's. So what is it? It's Evolving Your Mars, a new beginning for Oda. So what does this entail? So what the fuck is a Kodamara? The big question, right? So a powerful evolution, right? Kodamars are Mars evolved from eating a catalyst. They are more capable helpers in the defense of other side and can use any farmer, enchanter, or hunter roles. And their powers are constrained compared to the ancient Kodas. So of course, uh, if you guys have a Mara, by all means, you'll be able to have those expanded roles, be able to do all those things, as well as get a nice power boost while still being under a coda in terms of that scaling. So, Catalyst, define the style. Oh yeah, we're styling up, boys. So again, depending on which Catalyst that you have, you're going to get a different type of evolution here. So again, it's sectioned off into the hunters, the farmers, as well as the enchanters. So if you if you take a look, you can kind of see, hey, if you have a jewel, if you have a jewels catalyst, it's gonna probably if you have a hunter, it's gonna look like this. If you have a farmer, it's gonna be one of those taller ones. And then of course, if you have an enchanter, it's gonna be more short and stout. And we're, we're... <laughs> they're, they're, okay, these would be great as plushies. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that'd be kind of a nightmare for manufacturing, but <laughs> but they would look pretty damn good if you ask me. Okay, I like the Vivex a lot because they look like cotton candy. Okay, I don't know what this one is going. I don't know what the arteries are going on here with this one. That one looks kind of uh, crazy. But, of course, this one looks really cute. Looks like a cat. And then, of course, the Leo. Th this aesthetic reminds me of, like, magma macaroni and cheese. <laughs> so, that's, that's the first thing I think of it. But this one looks pretty strong, uh, in my opinion, in terms of just being fancy. fancy. <laughs> so, okay, chomp. Uh, this one, this one kind of makes me scared a little bit. Um, this one looks pretty good. Uh, but personally, I do like the Anthony one, uh, as well as the Vivek and Jules the most, mainly because the Anthony ones have like eyes. I like eyes, uh, as well as, you know, this one reminds me of a certain bunny in a, a, a certain popular horror game, which I won't mention, <laughs> but, but... <laughs> Um, I think the least, the one that I like the least is actually the high bar, despite it being probably the most rare, mainly because the color scheme is just, it's a little, there's a lot going on in terms of, uh, the, the clashing of the colors, but outside of that, I'm pretty sure it's going to be strong. So what else do we have here? Oh shit. We have fragment. We have fragment. <laughs> oh my God. I've been waiting forever to know what fragments are. Okay. Unlock the power of fragments. What the fuck is inside here? So sediment fragments add unique visual traits to Kodamara. You have two slots available to add sediment and the total power or the total amount added determines the changes to your Kodamara. So there is a certain level of control over, you know, the certain aesthetics you have, whether that's a catalyst or the amount of, you know, fragments that you put in. It seems like there's 500 here for low and then like at the maximum it's 1500. Fuck. I just realized I only have 360 fragments, so I'm so underfarmed right now. Holy crap. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> okay, okay, we got the breakdown here. Why don't I uh take a why don't I zoom out just a tiny bit so we can see the full thing? Damn, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, so parasite, what is that? So randomly picked from 99 options. 99 options! Oh shit! There's gonna be a lot of unique ones. Mm, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a lot of interesting combinations, guaranteed with fragment use. So it seems like if you use a certain amount of fragments, you'll you'll guarantee that. Um, that's very interesting. And then also we have eye textures that also get impacted, right? So in, if you infuse sediment to your Kodomar's eyes, it's guaranteed with fragment use. Okay, wow. So you can choose a specific eye texture uh, fragment. 
thing. Hmm, are they going to differ? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. And then we also have nascent aura and an overload aura. So what are these, right? So a nascent aura is a small chance to receive an aura with one slot guaranteed with two. Okay, I don't know what the wording means here. Actually, we read. That's why we have the FAQ open. Um, we'll read what that means in a second. So overload aura. So greater chance of getting an overload aura with more fragments. So it seems like the more fragments that you use, the more likely you're going to get, you know, parasite, eye texture, as well as these auras too. So, I mean, I, I, I have the FAQ open over here, so I might as well read through it. So, uh, where do I go to participate in Kodamara Fusion? Of course, they had the link here. Uh, how long will the Kodamara Fusion be open? So, it'll be open indefinitely until further notice. And then, how many catalysts can I apply to a single Mara? So, you can only use one. Um, where can I obtain a catalyst? Okay, that's Magic Eden, obviously. Uh, how does my catalyst need to be minted as an NFT? Can, does my catalyst need to be minted as an NFT to use it in Kodamar Fusion? Yes. If you have a catalyst, uh, you need to mint it as an NFT to participate in Kodamar Fusion. Okay, that's important to know. How are stats in Legends of the Mara determined for my newly minted Kodamar? Okay, so we're talking about power scaling here. So Kodamar stats use the Mara stats as a foundation. Kodamaras will inherit the tier of the Mara used in the fusion for the skills associated with that Mara's roles. Okay, so they inherit the tier. They, they inherit the, the stats from uh, prior, or I think, I think okay, uh, not that, but um, in the fusion for the skills associated with the Mara's role. So I believe that skills are preserved. Okay, that's good. Uh, for example, an epic hunter Mara will provide the, fu uh, will provide the fused Kodamara with at least epic tier hunting stats though the Kodamara can potentially receive legendary stats. Oh, oh, damn. I didn't know that. Okay, that changes things just a tiny bit. So uh, it's going to be important to see. It's going to be important to have on this side, like, okay, what fragments am I using? And how is that going to impact? What recipes are going to impact that scaling? Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Kodamar stats for the roles that the base Mara, uh, the Kodamar stats for the roles that the base Mara did not possess will be random. So anything that you did not have in your base Mara that comes into the fusion is going to be RNG. So praise RNG. <laughs> okay, so moving on. How are the visual traits determined for my Kodamara? So again, each Mara type will yield a different body style for Kodamara. Each specific catalyst has a set of base traits, which can be viewed on Legends of the Mara, uh, you know, the, the link here, by clicking on each catalyst. Your Kodama traits will be randomly generated unique combination of traits based on the catalyst type and Mara type. Your Mara type has no impact on the visual traits assigned to your Kodamara. Holy moly, okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. What else? So, how does adding sediment fragments affect my Kodamara's traits? Okay, so this is going to be an explanation of like Parasite Eye Texture, Nascent Aura, and Overload Aura. So, sediment fragments have multiple effects on your Kodamara's evolution. So, if you add sediment fragments, uh, if you add these, they can guarantee or increase the chance of the following traits appearing on your Kodamara. So, Parasite, if you add any sediment fragment, uh, adding any sediment fragment guarantees your Kodamara receives a parasite trait. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, so parasites are guaranteed. Oh. Okay. So if you don't use any fragments, then you won't get it. So if you want to keep it clean, I don't know whether this is going to be meta or not, or if that's good or not. You could just not use sediment fragments. But if you did, you'll get a parasite no matter what. <laughs> okay. And then we also have eye textures. Adding any sediment fragments guarantees your Kodamara receives a new texture for their eyes. Oh. Very interesting. Interesting. So what does that look in terms of... Oh, that's going to be different because all there are different eye traits. So they're going to have different textures. Oh, 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 that's going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot of combinations here. Okay. 
Nascent and Overlord auras. Okay, this is a little bit more complex. So users can increase the chance of receiving an aura. So these really cool, um, like sediment auras, essentially, by adding more of a sing of a single sediment type. When enough sediment fragments are applied, a nascent aura trait can become a guaranteed trait. So nascent, a nascent aura can become guaranteed. Users can increase the chance of an overload aura by adding the maximum amount of sediment fragments. So if you add two types of sediment fragments, it further increases the chance for an overload aura trait. And we also have entwined and pure auras. Oh, shit. Oh, dang. We got different kinds. So if you have two different kinds of sediment fragment types, it's going to look different when they get come, you know, when they have, you know, when they show up on the, on the screen. Oh, my God. Um, and then these mysterious auras are sometimes the result. I hope I'm not saying aura wrong. <laughs> I'm saying like aura from JoJo's. <laughs> but these mysterious auras are sometimes the result of maximizing the amount of sediment fragments used in the fusion process. So. If you maximize it out, seems like you're going to be able to pull those entwined and pure auras. I'm not sure if you can load the same aura into like each slot. Like if you wanted to make both biogenic, like you could probably get a pure aura for both nascent and overlord. That's going to be interesting. <clears throat> uh, definitely let me know what you guys are going to be doing because I'm not going to be doing anything because I only have 360 fragments. <laughs> Damn, I should have been farming this entire fucking <laughs> seasons, but alas, alas, the bull market is the bull market. So we do what must be done. Uh, anyways, you guys know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this uh, break. I I'm actually not. I'm actually not even fully through. Pause. Pause. We're gonna make this video very <laughs> much a little bit longer. So what do sediment fragment traits do? Okay, so they just impact your. Uh, they just impact your trait. What is a parasite trait? So. Oh, oh, parasite traits were designed and illustrated by Gremlin. Yo, that's crazy from Cryptodes. Okay, that's amazing. Wow, wow. Okay, what is an eye texture? Do we have any more fun Easter eggs in the FAQ? Uh, so again, this okay. Obviously, we know what you're doing. Eye, eye texture. Okay, so will my Kodamara have a Gucci <laughs> codependent trait? <laughs> yes, if you do have a code, if you have a Gucci codependent. Um, it will be inherited in the uh, in the Kodamara. Um, damn, that's sick. Okay, so where can I find more information about IP rights? So okay, the IP rights break, and then where can I find the licensing terms? Okay, IP and licensing terms. We'll we'll we're not gonna read through those in this video. But yeah, that was like the breakdown of the FAQ. You should definitely read through that. See if you didn't if I if I misexplained something. By all means, review that. Uh, of course, you can view this in the links in the description below. But, oh my god, <laughs> let me know what you're going to be doing when you're evolving your uh, Mars into Kona Mars. And, uh, yeah, I should probably resume the, the outro. Hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me create way more content in the future. I always love seeing what you guys think. Definitely tell me in the comments below what you're going to be evolving, what, you know, what you're going to be doing, whether it's going to be hunters, farmers, enchanters. Are you going to drop it on a, are you going to drop a specific catalyst style? Uh, and then... Of course, if you guys have been farm maxing, uh, let me know what you want out of your particular aesthetic recipe. So, yeah, we'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.